Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Rasta Barbie. Today, we're going to be making a root medley. We've got golden beets, parsnips, and carrots. We're going to chop them up. Then we've got chocha, yellow pepper, garlic, and onion. We're going to slice our cherry tomatoes in half. Now we're gonna season our vegetables with truffle oil, salt, nice generous amount. We're gonna roast them so we want the salt to bring out the flavor in the vegetables. We're gonna continue to add our seasonings, garlic powder, onion powder, A little bit of turmeric. I'm going to shake that out on there. And then we're going to mix it all up. We're going to also add some sage. And all purpose seasoning. Any kind that you want to use. I want to use emeralds. Now that it's all mixed up and put together nicely, we're gonna put it on a sheet tray, set our oven to 400 degrees. We're gonna spread all the vegetables out so they're in a nice even layer so they can roast evenly and nicely. Spread it out in all those little areas where they're clumped up. Now we're going to put it in our 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until golden brown. Next, we're going to take our salsa for root and grate it. I'm trying some new things here with this salsa for root. I'm going to grate it. And then I'm going to bake it so I can have a crunchy element to our root vegetable medley. This is going to go in the oven. It's 400 degrees for about 10 minutes, maybe less. Keep checking on it. Now that it's done, it should look like this nice and crunchy then our roasted vegetables should look like this nice brown little not too soft but just al dente enough now we're going to get our cast iron skillet and add some butter then we're going to add our onions yellow peppers and chocho and garlic We are going to want to let this caramelize. So basically, we're gonna cook it until it's got nice translucent, translucent, excuse me, color, and we want it to have some brown flavoring on it from the bottom of this cast iron skillet. We are gonna season these vegetables with a little bit of salt, a little bit of onion powder, little bit of garlic powder and a dash of paprika the key to having great tasting vegetables in my opinion is to Season your food nice and heavily. Not too much, but enough where it has so much flavor you can't even tell that you're eating roots and beets and all those things that you think you can't cook and eat that you can and you can make it taste so good like candy even. Then we're gonna stir in all those flavors. We're going to let it sit. Once it sits for a few minutes, we're going to stir it so each side of these vegetables can get 
that brown caramelization color that we're looking for. Just like that. Look at all that. Mmm, it looks so good. It smells so good. Cannot wait to eat this dish. Yummy. Now, I am a Jamaican descent. Both my parents are Jamaican. And, oh, I can switch my accent back and forth. So let me show you the Jamaican side. Now we all gonna add the rest of the vegetables to the pan. Now that the onions and stuff is caramelized, we are gonna turn down the fire, mix it up nice, get all of the flavors in together. Gonna mix it up right and proper. Now, That you see, say everything is mixed up nice. You have the onions and the chocha and the garlic and the yellow peppers. We're going, going on adding our crunchy elements. We're going to add it and mix it up proper so it can taste nice. Now, we're going to add a little spinach, a little chopped spinach to get some color. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look upon that Ital stew there. It looks so good. It smells so good. And it tastes yummy. Thank you for joining me. Cooking with Rasta Barbie. I hope you enjoyed our show. Please go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoy making this dish, dish just as much as I did because it tastes so good. Bye.